can i tell you favor is a major definer of your possibilities in life and destiny you believe me when i say this a major definer it takes the favor of god for men to be loyal to you and to give you their heart it takes the favor of god for you to have men and women who believe in your vision and come to partner with you not just in terms of finances to pledge their loyalty to stand with you stand by you stand for you someone shout favor shout like you are receiving it say favor the third way doors open is through the force of favor there are people today who have houses they did not build there are people today who have been given lands they did not build let me speak to someone who is trying to look for land you are trusting god maybe not everyone but for those who are trusting god for structural establishment i prophesy psalm 44 and verse 3 let me read it before i speak over your life and you will think i'm joking till you see what happens to you after this prophetic word this is how men are made the bible says for they got not the land read with me in possession by their own sword neither did their own arm save them but thy right hand thine arm the light of your countenance because thou hadst a favor in the name of jesus anyone trusting god for structural and territorial establishment i call upon the god of all grace the one who grants favor to men between now and the end of next year i don't know how my god will do it but may my god give you your space of land may my god give you territory in the name of jesus christ now most times when we talk about favor in church we just shout it like some pentecostal jamboree and the people who receive it do not even know what it is for it's just a marketing of lust but i tell you god designed it in his economy that doors will not open until favor comes may i refer you to my teaching this grace called favor i've done an extensive teaching on the dynamics of favor i know what it means to walk in the favor of god a generation will never pay attention to you until you carry this grace the grace called favor there are many builders and architects here do you know how much it takes to build one complete duplex without stealing notice what I said without stealing whether from government or stealing from anybody with integrity there are many young men if they do not carry favor they will never be able to own one property in their lifetime not today's world you know how much one bag of spent is it is the reason why many people are plunging into so many things right now practices that are ungodly treasure is pushing people into all kinds of compromises may favor rest on you let it rest on your ministry let it rest on your children. Let it rest on the works of your hands. It will be clear that you are Beulah and Hephzibah. You are a well-watered garden. You will be an example of what it means to walk in the favor of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus. I prophesy to you. I'm saying it again one last time. For someone here, maybe a man of God. Let me focus on those in ministry. The grace that gives you your own space. Because God is a God of portion. I call upon my God, the God of my covenant. May he surprise you in a way that you have never seen. In the name of Jesus Christ. You believe what you are receiving? Please sit down. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ favor with God and favor with men receive it favor with God and favor with men receive it favor with God and favor with men receive it every destiny helper anointed by God in this season to locate you and to hold your hands as you rise whether in the area of career whether in the place of raising your children whether in your home and your marriage whether in your spiritual life everything delaying that destiny helper i cause that spirit to give way now and then i prophetically 
release the helpers of your destiny to your life may they locate you may they bless you may they lift you in the name of jesus christ in the name that is above all names and by the blood of the eternal covenant every legal ground that satan has over any individual or any family by the blood of the eternal covenant as you shout the name jesus i declare that your liberty comes are you ready now one two three shout jesus i command altars i command yokes be broken now be broken now my god every altar tying down your destiny bring them out i curse it now i curse it now everything that has been tied down over your life i decree and declare be released now be released now in the name of jesus this is why you are here i want you to pay attention there are patterns i will never stop praying this prayer there are families under the sound of my voice the same thing everybody faces in the family if it's retrogression it happens to everybody if it's delayed it happens to everybody right now i want to pray at the count of three whether you are inside or outside i like you to shout that name jesus and as you shout the power of the holy ghost will rest marvelously upon you there are spirits that will not let destinies go free great people some of you have traveled abroad and even returned back nothing is changing my bible says therefore god has so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name that at the mention of that name every family here having any charm or any cause or any ordinance any fraternity with darkness at the count of three may the fire of the holy ghost land upon that family are you ready to shout at the count of three one two three shout jesus right now yokes causes i break causes generational causes patterns of darkness be destroyed now be destroyed now be destroyed now bring them out be destroyed now in the name of jesus every spirit that will not let you go i decree and declare be delivered now in the matchless name of jesus open your mouth and pray everything everything must produce results everything shalandegapata must produce results someone is praying everything 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 must produce in my life by the power of the holy spirit everything that left heaven for my sake must land upon my destiny this night favor increase healing restoration pray Pray one more minute. You're not wasting your time. You're releasing your faith. God is still in the business of lifting. He's still in the business of making. He's still in the business of empowering. He's still in the business of signs and wonders.
Hallelujah. Release their destinies right now. Release their destinies right now. In the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus. Release their destinies right now. Everything holding you down, tying you down, be delivered in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let this be permanent in your life. And I pray for you, out of you, that looks like you are the only one, may nations arise. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Doors open. Doors open. Open, open that they go forward open bring them out we unlock the doors by prophecy we unlock the doors by prophecy we unlock the doors pray we unlock the doors please bring them out quickly we unlock the doors by the power that raised Christ from the dead Doors. Many of you will be surprised what is happening to you. I say it again. Doors by the key of David that can open a door that no man can shut and shut a door that no man can open. Every door that has been shut over your destiny, shut over your life. A father, that door is open now. That door is open now. The door of advancement. A father. Be open now. Be open now. I declare right now every altar. Let there be deliverance right now in the name of Jesus. Let there be deliverance right now in the name of Jesus. Let there be deliverance right now. I break those yokes. I break those yokes in the name of Jesus Christ. God is opening doors in the name of Jesus. That every door that stands before me that should be open, I declare it open by the key of David that is able to open a door that no man can shut. Bring them out. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray. The power of God is coming on many people. And it's, a, it's an anointing for restoration. Hear me. When that anointing comes on your life, you will be surprised that things that should have happened starts chasing you to look for you again. For some of you, by that anointing, you will be surprised that relationships, opportunities will return by the power of the Holy Spirit. At the count of three, may that restoration mantle wherever you are. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Take that anointing. Take that anointing. Strange restoration in ministry. Restoration of your dignity. Restoration of honor restoration everything that used to walk that no longer walks i command that mantle to fall on you that grace for restoration and i will restore and i will restore and i will restore i'm still praying it again this anointing is coming on many people let there be restoration now. Son of man, can these bones leave? It says, only thou knowest. Son of man, can this family leave? Son of man, can this ministry leave again? Son of man, can this man of God leave again? But I prophesy to you, may that anointing come upon you now. So
and that was it i want to pray for someone here the bible says do not let your good be evil spoken of i pray for you if there is any manipulation over your destiny that makes every good thing you do to be misunderstood i break that spirit from off your life now i cut that spirit away from your destiny now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ some of you were seated in the place of honor and something happened in your life and brought you down i command may that anointing take you back to that place may this restoration mantle let it take you back to your place of honor restore 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 we are still speaking restoration lord restore 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 hear me please look up for some of you when the devil attacked you and brought you down he put someone to occupy your place in the name of jesus we dislodge them now every altar that is sitting on anybody's life yokes that will not let you go some of you have dreams you go to bed in the night and hear this oppression comes right now by the power of the holy spirit may that fire locate you wherever you are hallelujah please pay attention there is a marvelous work that god is doing here There are some of you, your oppressions have come in dreams. You go to bed in the night and all kinds of dreams. Going back to secondary schools, writing exams that don't finish, eating all kinds of things, fraternizing with dead spirits. Right now at the count of three, Makatos Kata, anyone's destiny under the siege of dreams. I declare at the count of three, shout Jesus again. One, two, three let there be deliverance right now let there be deliverance right now let there be deliverance right now by the power of the holy ghost be broken by the blood of the lamb be broken by the blood of the lamb be broken by the blood of the lamb anyone sitting on your glory sitting on your job sitting on your honor sitting on your sacrifice by prophecy i dislodge them now hear me this fire is coming upon you it's a grace for multiplication it's not just a healing anointing alone i'm saying it again everyone here who cannot multiply what God gives you that anything he gives you remains at that level I release the grace for multiplication I release the grace for multiplication ministry with evidence ministry with proof go and be a deliverer with fire go and be a deliverer it doesn't matter what yoke has sat upon your destiny and your families i decree and declare right now by the power of the holy ghost let there be that impartation of grace impartation of fire upon you impartation of power upon you prophetic ministries prophetic ministries prophetic ministries multiplied visions 
prophetic ministries particularly prophetic ministries whatever has beclouded your vision so that you don't see again so that you don't hear again receive fire upon your destiny fire upon your destiny the hearing ear the seeing eye the hearing ear the seeing eye in the name of jesus hallelujah now listen this next prayer is for everybody but please let me beseech you by the message of god you are going to be receiving while you look at your neighbor so that we manage the things that can happen here are we together now how many of you believe there is a grace for speed if you have never opened your heart to receive the grace for speed please i beseech you by the message of god here is your chance i'm going to pray you will be surprised people will start running that's why i said please help them i decree and declare father that fire that can energize a man a business a ministry and bring speed at the count of three some of you have been delayed in the name of jesus you are about to take that anointing now shout jesus at the count of three one two three speed 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 may that grace come upon you let there be an ignition by the power of the holy ghost the lord is speaking to me about prophetic ministries all of you who are out here i decree and declare according to the word of the lord step into the grace that has been apportioned for you in the name of jesus step into that grace step into that grace right now by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah now alongside these people there are a group of people i want to pray for please hear me the bible says saviors shall come out of zion can i tell you every family every territory has men and women who have been selected god wants to permeate families and bring deliverance but there are individuals that god must find wherever they are here if you are the one anointed and ordained that god will raise you to wipe the tears of your family wherever you are under the sound of my voice at the bakatos at the count of three may god locate you it's time for your family to arise may god locate you may god locate you young and old saviors arise by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ arise 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 in the name of jesus he has nothing to do with gender male or female if god has raised you whether you are a gideon or deborah may the power of god come upon you in the name of jesus christ I release speed. No more delay in destiny. No more delay. I don't care what altar has tied you down. I prophesy speed speed every altar tie you down must release you now must release you now must release you now speed to your destiny man of god experience speed in ministry career person speed in career a mantle for favor i release that grace upon you right now 
in the name of Jesus Christ nothing dies in your hands I don't know where that person is but Karuskati Lakatoshka Brendegete Embrakatoshka Dibalakata May the power of the Holy Spirit touch you right now wherever you are in the name of Jesus Christ wherever please help him wherever you are in the name of Jesus let this be the beginning of a new season in Jesus name I lose that chain I lose that chain I'm seeing a chain I lose it now the name of Jesus Christ lose that chain now let them go let them go let them go by the power of the Holy Spirit let them go in the name of Jesus for a miracle service may this grace rest upon you that will turn your life around and everything fighting you I curse it right now in the name of Jesus I curse it now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I declare may that grace this grace is not for manifestation is the grace for the secret place in Jesus name I stretch my hands may that grace come upon you God will make you God will build you until you become a mighty battle axe in his hands in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ every one of you who has stood here in the name of Jesus go back and experience restoration in Jesus name I pray right now I command that spirit there are two of you or three of you in fact let them go now 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 in the name of Jesus Christ this spirit that attracts wicked people wrong people in destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead be delivered now right now I decree and declare everyone here who is oppressed I command the spirit that is back of any infirmity to be gone now in the name of Jesus now in the name of Jesus now in the name of Jesus I declare be healed in Jesus name my God already I'm seeing the Lord heal someone's someone's limbs I don't know if you're on a wheelchair or you're on crutches but a miracle is happening right now in the name of Jesus Christ let there be healing for you right now let there be healing for you right now let there be healing for you right now I decree and declare pain on the head severe migraines the Lord is healing right now pain around the joint areas all around the arm in the name of Jesus let there be a miracle right now now hear me every cancer cancer or any kind of cancerous growth we curse you now in the name of Jesus HIV AIDS be healed in the name of Jesus everyone who cannot see in the name of Jesus partial or total blindness I command that eyes to open now in Jesus name anyone who cannot walk I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit let life and strength come upon your limbs now in Jesus name there are many people connected from several hospitals I decree and declare in the name of Jesus let the power of God from here through the airwaves let it come upon you and bring you life heart palpitations be healed in the name of Jesus growths around the body anywhere around the body we command you to give way right now in Jesus name I set you free do you know let me tell you the truth what is on you is what attracts what come around you are we together now in the name of Jesus I'm praying again every negative placement upon your head that keeps drawing negative things trouble to your life I declare be free now be free now be free now a mighty deliverance is going to happen here now before we pray for the sick what is deliverance a separation between you and a spirit or you and a limitation 
it is not always about spirit a separation between you and conditions that are unfavorable at the count of three the power and fire of god is going to fall here right now and i want you to bring those people out father anyone here and any family any individual who is under the influence of negative spirits making zion to be called an outcast causes yokes of ancestry yokes connected to bloodline yokes release them now release them now release them now open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray i declare my liberty from every planting and every influence bring them out please every planting that is not of god over my life pray every fraternity with any spirit that is not of the christ i announce and i declare my liberty let them go now i rebuke that spirit release them now release them now hallelujah now please look at me i'm still ministering deliverance negative patterns and negative cycles it comes and then it comes again it comes and then it comes again i'm seeing at least 25 people father i don't know where they are these spirits that cause repetition of negative patterns at the count of three shout jesus and your deliverance comes one my god two three shout jesus be free be free be free negative patterns tying your family tying individuals bringing them to states where they recycle pain where they recycle shame where they recycle negative conditions be free hallelujah I'm seeing the anointing of the Holy Spirit go to the worship team and the Lord is telling me I have answered your prayer I don't know who that is I have answered your prayer this is what God is saying I have answered your prayer may that anointing rest upon that person it is between you and God you know what you have been asking him for but the Lord is saying I have answered your prayer and what he says to one he says to all let me prophesy over someone who has been praying over a long-standing issue in the name of jesus what he has done for a brother or sister there may it be extended to you right now right now in the name of jesus at the count of three i stretch my hands may fire from heaven rest upon individuals let there be an ignition from the realm of the spirit young and old inside and outside i count three one two three take that fire now take that fire now please bring them out very quickly take that fire now in the name of jesus any church that is not growing any man of god who is struggling in ministry i bring you the power of the holy ghost here at this miracle service in the name of jesus christ intercessory groups all kinds of platforms that don't seem to be working in the name of jesus some of you your ministries to your families there are altars that god is raising you to fight and tear down i decree and declare young and old may that power come upon you in the name of jesus may that power come upon you in the name of jesus may that power come upon you in the name of jesus may that power come upon you in the name of jesus the power of witchcraft negative dreams negative experiences in the name of jesus repetitive experiences negative experiences i command those spirits now let them go let god's people go release them now
please stretch your hands towards me you are about to receive in the realm of the spirit and it will manifest between now for some of you even this night that is outside of you will see people come to testify here i'm saying it to you because I'm, I'm just it just distracted me in this vision i'm looking at what looks like a box and then i'm seeing it being given to people that's why i said stretch my hands in the name of jesus i stretch my hands back at you prophetically receive that which god has for you for some of you it's a job receive it hallelujah there is someone here you have been trying to buy a house the house you are negotiating the person to sell it for you the price you have been trusting that they bring it down this is one of your major concerns please hear me you will come and stand here and testify because something will happen this night in the name of jesus christ i pray for all of you who are who came out here in front every foul spirit that has oppressed you in the name of jesus be released now never to return in jesus name i pray amen lord jesus restore 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 it doesn't matter who did what i'm placing an anointing upon you restore help mama restore in the name of jesus everything that has been stolen that brought you down and from that time you've not been able to move forward i prophesy to you go forward now go forward now go forward now go forward now the door is open before you go forward now hear me help this man when it is time to pray for destiny help us please make sure you open up your spirit because all blessings come from God but they come through men to you hallelujah I decree and declare any virtue that was taken from you spiritually negative soul ties demonic things that have tied you down so you cannot move forward I break it now I break it now I break it now be delivered now wasters of destiny stealers of glory I command a restoration now and a separation from this spirit go and excel for some of you it will not be up to one month God will restore you back in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god now here's what will happen please look at me just a quick instruction it is important to testify of the wonder working power of god tonight we are not only going to allow those who have been healed to come everybody who has been imparted by this you've been delivered a change has happened in your life supernaturally something miraculous has happened right now now listen to me many of you will be very surprised to see what has happened in your life and you have your evidence here let me pray for the sick and then i am going to give you two or three minutes we'll only take a limited number of people but as many who have been touched i know that everybody has been touched but any striking notable miracle including that which is about to happen i want you to come and stand in front here or here will give you an opportunity to testify and then please listen many of you miss the remaining part of this service impartation and prophetic decrees are a major part of the miracle service you hear people come and testify not everybody is sick god may not call everybody's name and then we are constrained by time when you want to have extended meetings like this it will take a long time to be able to minister but everybody should receive in the presence of God. And so please, if you are coming out, make sure that there is no delay. I'm going to be praying for the sick. 
but even if right now you know that the power of God has touched you you've been delivered it is still all right for you to start coming out so that will save time but I want to pray for the sick remember what I told you about the woman with the issue of blood you reach out by faith you receive and then you check yourself doing what you couldn't do the moment you find out that there's a miracle I want you to run and come very quickly father in the name of Jesus the spirit that is back of any and all infirmities health conditions emotional conditions spiritual conditions that are manifesting as illnesses in the name of Jesus Christ I declare be healed now be healed now blood conditions be healed now high blood pressure go down now and by the way if you need to quickly go and check yourself we have a medical stand there very trained professional doctors lab technicians and all of that so you can do well and someone if you need to check yourself say a miracle has happened and you want to verify you do that we make sure that we only announce miracles that are verified because we're ministering to the entire globe are we together right now in the name of Jesus Christ I conditions be healed now ear conditions be healed in the name of Jesus anyone who could not walk I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit begin to walk now you could not stand begin to stand now you could not move any part of your body begin to move it now in the name of Jesus every lump every growth in any part of your body I decree and declare that it disappears now by the power of the Holy Spirit any terminal illness whether here or across the hospitals connecting in the name of Jesus I bring you life and healing in the name of Jesus Christ blood conditions be healed now there's a woman I'm seeing in a vision you have pains all over your body you can't tell exactly what it is but your joint pain you know how someone who is a sickler sickle cell anemia you know when they have this crisis that's how you feel perpetually it's like your body is hot there's just pain from head to toe the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing someone you had a dream and in that dream you saw that there was something wrong with the left part of your breast and you are already being you are already afraid because you've been sensing pains and a spirit has been ministering to you that most likely this is cancer by the power that raised Christ from the dead be healed right now be healed right now I would always say that this is the most accurate representation of your desires the Bible says what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray believe that thou receivest it someone is praying Lord this oppression will never return again turn my story change my life give me a testimony if someone praying connect me to strategic helpers go ahead in the next two minutes Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare over these requests. I declare that the God of heaven will arise on your case. The God of heaven will arise on your case. In the name of Jesus. Finally, your laughter arrives. I say it again. Finally, your laughter arrives. Everything that represents sadness here. In the name of Jesus, we drive it like smoke before the wind. Finally, your laughter arrives. Finally, your breakthrough arrives. In the name of Jesus Christ. For many of you, the deliverer has a reason for you. And what you will be counting are testimonies after testimonies after tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I speak over your life in Jesus' name that these Egyptians you see today, you will see no more forever in the name of Jesus Christ
I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit everything your eyes have seen but your hand is yet to handle let this be the season where your hand will take possession let this be the season where your hand will take possession in the name of Jesus There is a relationship between laughter and victory. No man steps into the realm of victory and then does not laugh. I decree and declare. Another word for saying you are walking in victory is to say this season is your season of laughter. Laughter in the morning. Laughter in the afternoon. Laughter in the night. Everything that makes for shame and sadness by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let it be far from your life. Mary said, how shall these things be, seeing that I know not a man? How shall I have this business, seeing that I know not any destiny helper? How shall I excel in Abuja, in Lagos, in Jos, in Maiduguri? In Europe in US in Asia seeing that I don't have anyone my prayer for you is the reply of angel Gabriel the power of the highest shall overshadow you the power of the highest shall overshadow you the power of the highest shall overshadow you in the name of Jesus Christ hear me the moment the power of the highest overshadowed Mary it was possible to give birth every time the power of the highest overshadows you you will always give birth to something a vision a dream a new experience therefore i decree and declare that which must be born from you in this season give birth safely hear me the spirit that makes you labor for things and when it's time to enjoy them it is taken away from you I decree and declare every good thing you start with your hand you will see the end of it with your eyes in the mighty name of Jesus let me pray for your health the spirit that is roaming across Nigeria and Africa bringing mysterious sicknesses upon people you will see healthy looking people but in two three days something just brings them down i stand in partnership with the grace upon our father if at 84 he's still jumping like a young man then in the name of jesus we who are his children we stand here by faith and i decree and declare enjoy health enjoy health enjoy health enjoy health enjoy health physical health mental health financial help where you have been called rejected where you have been called an outcast oh zion i decree and declare by the power help him in the name that is above all names this is the season where men will look for you in the morning they will look for you in the afternoon they will look for you in the night they will look for you and they will not come empty they will come with their treasures like the magi they will come with gold they will come with frankincense they will come with man to honor you in the name of jesus christ thou shalt not be afraid of the arrow that flies by day every arrow roaming across from altars to destinies i declare minus you I say it again minus you minus your family minus your business minus your destiny minus your health no power will cut short your life before your time in the name of Jesus Christ finally I pray for you there is a grace that rests upon a man that can cause that man to be passionate about the things of God when that grace rests upon you you will not struggle to pray you will not struggle to study you will not struggle to have time with God 
I don't know where you have been struggling in your spiritual life, but I stretch my hands as one who has been shown mercy by God. I decree and declare fresh fire upon your prayer altar. The discipline to wake up and pray, receive it. The discipline to pray through till you break through, receive it. The grace to pray with answers, receive it. Number two, I pray for your word study life. Every lukewarmness and spiritual laziness, in the name of Jesus, I cast it from your life. Receive the grace to be passionate for the word. Number three, anything fighting your zeal for the house of God, I bring it under arrest right now. In the name of Jesus. Finally, I pray for you. Any association and any human vessel programmed by the devil to loiter around your life and stop you from entering your glorious destiny. In the name of Jesus, prophetically from this altar, I bring a separation now. Groups, associations, people, I break you free from them. May the grace for honor rest upon you. Go and shine, go and excel. I say it again, go and shine, go and excel. Hear me. Let Nigeria open for you. Let Europe open for you. Let America open for you. Let Abuja open for you. Let the six show political zones open for you. Everywhere you need to be to serve the purposes of God, I declare the grace for visibility that will take you there. May that grace rest upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And in the name of Jesus, by the privilege of God's grace, I stretch my hands and I declare, may the power of the Holy Spirit shift you to a new season. Shift you to a new season. Every limitation connected to what you do. God who located you, and I'm using him as a point of contact. If there is anyone here, that has been grounded in business that the only thing you see is shame and reproach may that embargo be broken now let it be